Andrew Allegretti here for Hokiesports.com with Coach Janelli. We're excited for the start of the indoor track and field season. Uh, Coach, we were just talking a moment ago. I know you have a lot of excitement for your men's team. Let's start there. What makes you so excited about this group, the reigning ACC champion team? Uh, this men's team has the potential to be maybe the best that we've ever had. We have a, a great mixture of uh, some veterans returning. Um, but also some uh, some new guys that have come in that are at a high level and and so I'm uh, very excited uh, to see what they can do and uh, I think that as long as we can you know keep everybody healthy and, and moving forward it could really be a special year. I'm going to talk about a couple of names on that men's team. There's a whole list that we could go to but so often it starts with Tommy Curtin, a guy that's coming back who's had so much success in so many different areas for you. What are you hoping for him? Well, Tommy's been just so consistent for us uh, at a very high level uh, since the very first time that he arrived. So he's coming off an outstanding cross-country season. Um, and again, I think uh, staying healthy. Um, I mean, he was a double All-American last year indoors. Uh, I think he's going to be at that same level or better this year. And that's going to put him right up there with, uh, you know, the top, you know, middle distance, distance kids in the country. So he's going to be a key to our success. Uh, at the conference and at the national level. Here's a couple of other key names as well. You've got Patrick Joseph, a runner. You've got Chris Uli, a pole vaulter, Manny Ziegler, who has done amazing things. How about that group of returners for you this season and what they can provide? Well, you just mentioned some really high quality athletes uh, in that group. And um, so they're returning. Uh, Ziegler, this will be his uh, senior year, as it will be with, with Tommy. Um, and, uh, you know, those guys have proven to be, uh, you know, one of the best in the country at their events. So, um, like I said, if we can just kind of keep everyone, uh, keep everyone healthy and moving forward, um, we have very good balance uh, between the different event groups. But the quality is there, which really, uh, I think, with the way our conference is now, with 15 teams, uh, the quality is what you really need to, to be successful. All right, so let's turn it over to the women's side of things right now, a team that last year finished top 50 in the NCAAs. What are you hoping for from that group? Well, that group is still very young. Um, we have uh, some outstanding returnees, uh, Hannah Green, um, which, you know, she'll be one of the top 800 meter runners uh, in the country, both indoors and outdoors uh, this year. Um, it's a young group. A couple of our athletes are, are outdoor athletes only, like our javelin throwers, Irina Sedeva, uh, defending NCAA champion. So she, you know, is really going to come on the scene during the outdoor season. Uh, indoors, what I'd like to see is, is some of these new kids, uh, some of the freshmen and some of the second year kids step up and, uh, you know, really show up at the conference meet. And so, because uh, I think that's what we're building towards is, is uh, being a, a top-level conference team with the women. What are some key dates that fans should pay attention to? Uh, our elite meet, our home elite meet, is probably uh, one of the best meets uh, in this area of the country. Uh, that's February 5th and 6th here uh, here at Virginia Tech, and uh, it's uh, ACC and SEC teams. Uh, we have about 12 or 13 teams, and that's an outstanding meet, and that's uh, three weeks before our conference meet. Um, and then our conference, obviously, uh, which is at the end of February, and that'll be in Boston this year. Coach Chinelli, the reigning ACC Indoor Coach of the Year, thank you so much for your time. You're welcome.